Hello guys, welcome back to The Crew 2. It's a new week, it's somewhere in the middle of the week. That means that there are two new uh, street family events happening. Two street races this time. It's a uh, coastal range to the oil fields and Pikes Peak Mountains. Pikes Peak Mountain is uh, sort of coming back from The Crew 1 in a way. It was a uh, PvP track in there and it more or less is the same track uh, just a little bit shorter uh, at the end and the coastal range to the old fields is uh, more a bit of a twisty section a bit of a, a high speed section and then uh, finish more in uh, the west coast area next to that uh, we will also have uh, not only a track coming back from the crew one but also a car coming back from the crew one next week in uh, the seasonal events, we also have seasonal cars and they uh, come next week for uh, season pass holders and the week after that for the uh, non-season pass holders. Those two new cars are uh, one coming back as I mentioned, uh, the Spiker C8 Dutch car and um, another Mercedes, the C63S uh, AMG in uh, street speak we have the uh, c63 uh, DTM version sort of uh, in touring car uh, both the uh, black series uh, old model as the new model and now we're gonna get a uh, street race version of that other than that uh, not much news uh, to be announced uh, other than the fact that they have set a date for the April update and more specifically gonna be April 24th uh, as always, weekly events, we take a look on them uh, in ace mode and see uh, what's going on there. Uh, I'm in the Audi RS5 at the moment, I think. Uh, let's have a quick look. Yeah, we are. As uh, always with these uh, events, set weather conditions, always the same. That sort of was the technical part, now we go to uh, the faster section. And there uh, we have another problem with these tracks, is uh, check mode placement. As you will see in a second, and I will show you why it is a problem that these checkpoints need to be uh, put on the spot. We have a long straight ahead and then we're gonna make a 90 degrees sharp turn to the left and that's a bit uh, where the problem is. Normally you'd say oh yeah you have to brake there and uh, what people are doing is pretty simple. Drive to the left here somewhere they reset and there they go. Barely lost speed. If you actually have to brake there if they would put the checkpoint in the corner where people have to brake then you don't have that shit happening. They need to uh, address that, but it's like uh, it's an old sword coming back from the crew one. The checkpoints are in the middle of nowhere instead of in the corners, and then you have those reset rats using it uh, to set fast time and so on. And you can be uh, for or against, and you can be like uh, 
Yeah, but it's in the game and then you can use it and that's all uh, total for Same here again. Just drive here and reset and yep, and here we go. Also in the city tracks uh, you have a couple of those things. Uh, Harlem East is one of those where you can also uh, go to an alley and then reset cut. It's way faster than going around it. These new tracks are interesting since you're uh, finally uh, approaching some new roads here and there. Not always hanging about in those five main cities. That makes it interesting, but yeah, if they put the checkpoints in the middle of nowhere, then the uh, interest is fast gone. Because then you have the cutters and the reset cutters having a field day on these uh, tracks. And that uh, is not going to take away the fact that uh, if there would be no cut, they more than likely will still be the fastest. That is something which people always forget. They always complaining like, oh yeah, but those cutters in the middle and blah blah blah. But even if they don't cut, they are still the fastest. But it just, uh, yeah, it also has to do with mentality, of course. You can just ignore this uh, reset thing and just break and take the corner properly, and that nobody is doing that. That's the thing. The only way to avoid it, put the checkpoints in the corners. Put some more checkpoints, so they cannot reset that much. As simple as easy as hell. A bit of a technical section in the beginning, then it's a pretty long straight, uh, given the two sharp corners to the left, which you can reset, cut, and uh, then it's basically a long straight again. let's say uh, semi-technical. The other track on the other hand is uh, not so semi-technical because that is just like uh, Pike's Peak. And that, uh, where the hell is, oh my god. Map moving. At least it is something. It's an event now. You can at least fast travel to events. Fast travel anywhere is uh, still not in the game. Uh, I also have no idea if they're gonna bring that or not, but they're gonna bring quite some things that we asked for, but I don't know uh, if they're gonna bring the fast travel anywhere anytime soon. They just put more events on the map, which narrows down the field of fast traveling at least. You have more options available on the map now, if they put uh, all over the map events. Three. So we have some more uh, options to fast travel too. One. Uh, this thing, I already saw that uh, world records are set with bikes, uh, bikes all over the place, uh, because yeah, also here. I'm pretty sure that uh, there are some cuts possible. Here, over here, they start pretty well. Uh, checkpoints in the corner, over here, it's already a problem. The next checkpoint is uh, three corners down the road here. That means that you can already cut over the grass. The same here, probably. Probably cut over that grass. Next corner is sort of fine, they put a checkpoint in the corner, so that's fine. Here it's before the corner again, so I'm pretty sure that there might be some possibilities there. Here for sure they're gonna do this, and then probably uh, go even up, straight up again to that next checkpoint there. So there's probably one straight line that they can do there to get to three checkpoints. They will never learn. Like here, why is there no checkpoint here in this in this corner here? If they take a bike, then more than likely they just come over the grass and they drive one straight line up. It's a very interesting technical track, but if you put the checkpoints in the middle of nowhere, then it's becoming a totally different track. So here I'm pretty sure they fly in here. Now I break and took the corner, but here you have no other choice than to drive because there are some parked cars there at least. Here 
have a few of these as well. There are some rocks here, so cutting, I don't know. They probably fly over there because that's what they do. I already saw some names standing here on the rocks and such, so that means only one thing. Uh, that those people are already looking for where they can cut and where, because that's how they do uh, time attacks. They do not drive the track, they immediately go look for where are the checkpoints, where can we cut, where can we reset. Over here it's pretty okay. We have some rocks and some uh, concrete on the side. Uh, other than that, uh, we haven't seen AI uh, in the last two races either, so yeah. That is also still... AI difficulty is not very high in, the, uh, in these things. There they come. We already picked up our parts and everything after the race and then uh, you see the AI arrive. Street race AI, ace mode, not the most difficult thing around, that's for sure. Pretty two, uh, two pretty interesting tracks this week. Uh, unfortunately, the old sword is still there and the checkpoints are placed in the middle of nowhere, which means that cutters and reset cutters and short cutters, whatever you want to call them, they're going to have a field day on these tracks, especially on this last one. That will be it for uh, this one. Um, as I said, a couple of tests going on on uh, my Twitch channel. Two hour stream I've done there earlier uh, to test eight uh, street race cars and sort of narrowed it down to three which uh, might uh, have some things going with that. Uh, but that has nothing to do with uh, with leaderboards or OP car or most used cars. No, it's more uh, some random cars that uh, I've tested there. Uh, Bentley, uh, BMW M2, uh, Jaguar F-Type, uh, uh, Lotus Evora and then uh, four Mercedeses and then uh, narrowed it down to order to uh, figure out which were the three worst that turned out to be uh, the Bentley and two of the Mercedeses and that was the test that we have done in that stream uh, and then now here we have a look on the new tracks and there's another video coming with uh, rally stage number four uh, for our RDTM uh, championship but that is uh, in Forza then in this case, this week events, and next week we will have uh, the two new cars. Mercedes C63 S AMG and the Spacker C8, uh, both in street race spec. Those will be the vehicles for next week. We'll see you guys then, and bye for now.